Hey, I have a simple request. When you're done watching this, not now, when you're done, call a friend, tell them you just watched this, you liked it, they should watch. Turn people on to us. That way we can do more, better, bigger things for you. Promise. More people watch, you get more better shit at home. You get more better stuff at home. Promise. See ya. Hello everyone, welcome to the Sam Livecast, it's Friday, Yeah, it's Freaky, no I was going to say it's Freaky Friday, I don't know why I was going to say that, that's ridiculous. Good movie. But is this, ready for this? Hold on, let me do this. Just start the show the proper way right now. Are you lighting a firecracker or something? No, a joint. not a firecracker, no it's not a <laughs> what joint. What is it? Are you ready? burning something that's a bad Sa- Sa- Saffron, what, no. what is it called? Uh, Incense? To, to ward off It's polisanto. Oh, what Polisanto. Is what is it? Do you know that, Lynn? You went, oh. It's it's a wood that, I don't know, I had a beer that has something to do with Polisanto. It comes from South America. Uh. And it's, Jordan gave us this and a bunch of pieces. It's kind of an interesting, really like. Sage, that's what I was thinking. It's of. sage. It's sage-like. Okay. And you burn it and it's it's just absolutely lovely. Really? Yeah, mm. it's really nice. So, Jordan, for those of you that don't know, and many people don't know, is my middle son. I have three. Max, right there. Show yourself. Hello. There you go. Max, right there, is the oldest mm-hmm. at 25. And there's Jordan at 22. And then there's a younger one that's at college in Boulder. He's 19. And I'm adopted. And Lynn is my adopted <laughs> giant son. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Jordan is my... Emotional uh, feeling that you know, spiritual son, and uh, he loves this stuff. And he, he brought us this wood and burned it. And I thought, What the f, f are you doing? <laughs> but I love the smell of it. It's like a thing that you I don't know if it's like you cleanse a place. I need to I'm, smell it some more because I so there was this beer that's brewed by Dogfish Head, yeah, and I, I found it. And I was like, oh, Palo Santo. And I never really heard of it. So I, there's a little description about it in the back. That's how I know about it. Mm. Hold on. I'm going to bring this to you guys and you can do it. Okay, bring it back. Wow. It's really cool. It's Passing really the, cool. Passing the stick. Yeah, I know. Somebody just turning in right now is going to be like, what the hell are you guys doing? But the only problem is it won't. Um... Weird. I was like, it doesn't smell incredibly strong, actually. Well, no, light it. Light it, Lynn. Get it, let it flame. And then once it's flaming for a second, then burn it out, then blow it out. Go back to the dogs for a sec. <laughs> the expression the of dog's life comes from that picture right freaking there. Yeah, it really does. I mean, look at look how long Haley looks. She does. She looks like she's about 6'5", she's like Lynn. So sprawled out. This so has got to be a hazard out. at some point. Go I back. To, let me see. Let me see. That. Okay, blow it out now. <laughs> Max all worried. <laughs> you can't let it go too big. Now spread like, a list. Do this thing with it, right? People and say know. say some shaman words. I don't know any shaman I don't, words. For, let's not offend our shaman friends. Hey, wait, look what I got. Wait. What is it? Hold on. Is it a chihuahua? <laughs> it's a chihuahua. <laughs> yeah, it is. You it's picked Lewis. him up by his sweater. I picked him up by his sweater. He's 5.3 pounds. Who He's wouldn't want to pick him up by his sweater? It's true. Baby. Oh, crap. Getting ashes all over my computer. <laughs> But don't, isn't the smell nice? Yeah, yeah it's I like nice. it. It's, really it's nice. It's very nice. You know what? I remember the first time I went to an aromatherapy. Uh, we were in Mau- Maui. Mom and I went to a hotel for our anniversary. And it had a, a significant men's uh, spa and a significant women's spa. It was a, kind of a big deal. And you go in. I mean, you can't go into the other one. So you go in alone and... and they were showing me around, and there's all kinds of showers and baths, and, and they had these five different mud, uh, mud aromatherapy baths. And I was like the mo- I'm like the most skeptical guy in the world. I don't really buy into most of this stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're explaining it. And I, I got a bunch of time before my massage, so I want to take advantage of all of the things in this spa. There's a crazy shower to go to, and blah, blah, blah. blah. Anyway, I go to the, the aromatherapy 
uh, mud bath things. They explain it and then they leave. And then you're just there on your own. You're wandering around. And I go up to one of the baths and I put my hand in and it's like, it's like room temperature mud. It's not warm. Ugh. It's not cozy. And I go, how can this be any good? There's no way that this shit can be any good. I go, but you know what? I'll try and keep an open mind. I'm going to go into one. Mm -hmm. So you get into it and there's like mud up to your neck and you're just lying there. And my first thoughts are, it's not warm enough to be comforting. I don't really know why this is a good <laughs> thing. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what was in this mud, <laughs> but the aromatherapy legitimately started to work on me. Really? I was so surprised at how just calm I got and wonderful. I, I wanted to stay in this thing forever. And that's what that little uh, piece of wood that uh, Palo Santo reminds me of. It's a it, lovely smell, a lovely aroma. It is not overbearing. It's, it's not, no. It's medicinal. And you know, as I'm looking in the, um, the, the, cam the screen that I have in front of me uh -huh. and see myself like patting my dog's head, I feel very much like, uh, what's his name in the Austin Powers and movies? Dr. Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil, yes. Or Dr. How Evil. How about just my Marlon Brando? Dog. Marlon Brando. Who do you think you are? Don't come in here and talk to me about my little dog. What? <laughs> Wait, doesn't Marlon Brando my little dog with his at the beginning of Godfather 1? Marlon Brando in the beginning of Godfather 1 has a cat in his lap. Yeah, cat. exactly. So it and it's amazing to me. The cat just stays there. I know. He does this. He's just like patting the whole thing and the, the kid's fine well, and the dog's fine. Guy. Look at look at the face. Wait, there he is. Look at the look at the size of the so eyes. So when he came home. Look when I do that. Ooh. Oh, when God. he came home, uh, I was telling them. Let me put I, him down. I was telling him that he is technically an apple-headed chihuahua, which he is. If you notice, he's got this big bulbous head. I got pissed and off these at guys that. I didn't I like that like, expression. I think it's a bad expression. I was making fun of him, but I was like, no, he's really an apple head. Uh, you apple head. Um, really quickly, let's just hop over to my Twitter. My handle is at MZion if you want to follow me. And I'm going to be posting some cool behind-the-scenes cooking guy stuff as we do our shooting. Are you? Yeah, totally. I like that. Um, M. Zion. I have one particular outtake that he might not let me put up. But what? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, M. Zion, this is a little post I did yesterday. That's my new little palm oh corgi rescue God, boy. God, short legs can still get you to the <laughs> wow. top. He looks happy, look at, doesn't he? <laughs> look at Steven. Oh, yeah. His so what is he? He's a corgi. He's a palm corgi. Pomeranian so corgi cute. mix. So two little dogs, one with even arguably shorter legs than the other one yeah <laughs> right so those are pretty short legs he's dude. pretty cute dude oh thank you here's another picture just really quickly this was like the day we got him on my girlfriend's oh my lap gosh. just sitting there he's very puffy and soft forget the puffy softness what's with your girlfriend's pants can she not uh, buy pants that don't have holes in them they're old no i'm, just <laughs> I'm like yeah okay wait she's... before before we hop off my instagram there's one yep. more thing that i've been wanting to talk about it's yes you know, I think we should start doing this kind of new thing. Like, what are you eating? What are you eating? Tell us what you're eating. Cal? Fans. What are you eating? I want to know what Lynn's eating. I want to know what you're eating. What are you eating? Maybe we'll start this new hashtag, what are you what eating? What are you eating? I like that. Yeah. Um, what am I eating? I just recently ate this unreal burger from Umami up in LA. Dude, what is the bun on Wait there? a sec. Yeah, well, I was, so it looks like a... Hold on. Yeah, it so looks like soap. Lynn. It looks like a like a deep fried biscuit or something. Yep, exactly. Yes. So I walk, it is. So I walk into Umami with Jelly. We've gone there dozens what? of times. It's right around the corner from our place. We walk over there. We love it. I see all of these guys in the restaurant with this new burger that I've never seen. And the first thing Dude. I notice is that bun. I'm like, that's a crazy bun. What is that? I ask the lady. She tells me that it's a custard soaked deep fried bun shut up that goes with this special michael voltaggio umami burger wait a which sec. is limited time michael voltaggio is a top chef contestant who has restaurants in la that are amazing so if you read the caption it's umami voltaggio monte cristo collab burger with a custard soaked deep fried brioche bun and powdered sugar plus prosciutto Plus Gruyere, plus side of maple syrup. Get what? out of here. Get out of here. It was How good is that? Unbelievable. Lynn, stay in your seat. I can see Lynn getting up <laughs> like, right I'm now to drive up there to go yeah. have that. You guys have no idea. The oh, only problem the only gosh. problem is 
you could probably only eat that thing once a year. Oh yeah, I bet once a year. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Lynn Hashtag is not heart attack. By the way, Lynn is not just a foodie, but when it comes to celebrity <laughs> chef creations, I, he I just will, like yeah. pees himself all the time. Hey, hey, admit hey. it. Hey, no. Okay, you're you're bit. you're susceptible to the celebrity oh, chefdom, and, and you know what? I do because they're celebrities for a reason, man. I wrote uh, I just wrote Gruyere in there. It's yeah. actually it was actually Gruyere fondue. Oh, oh Jesus! I know what it was. It was out of control. that makes it even more of a hashtag heart attack. I know it was nuts. It was Super nuts. ridiculous. That so if you want to go check though. that out, it's at the Umami Burger in Hollywood, right near where I live. So. Hey, let me say, uh, so we had our, our Kauai competition. Mm. Uh, Cook Your Way to Kauai with Sam the Cooking Guy. We had uh, eight, eight, eight viewers here cooking down to one person who won that will go to Kauai. She can't go with us. Sorry. Oh. But we're going to Kauai next month. Yeah. yeah. How exciting. Oh, <laughs> right. How excited are we? Uh, pretty excited, man. Hey, that, yeah. Yes. I'm not really. I mean. It's one thing to go to Kauai. It's another thing to go with, and like with you guys and with go us. shooting and like you know doing stuff that you love and right. it's Co- going to be crazy. And Kaloa Lynn, Landing, Kaloa Landing will be way fun. Hell yeah, Lynn and I are lucky enough to bring our significant other. And I'm yeah. not bringing my significant other. So, so you just get to party all day. I'm going to be a fifth wheel and I can do everything bad that I've ever Heck wanted yeah, to fifth do. Wheel hey, Sam. Check it out if you go to kaloalandingresort.com. That, we're going to be there. Check out there. All the there. Stuff. There. Look at look at look at beyond the furniture, beyond the the walls what's that uh, oh ocean There's palm one. trees yeah, water yeah, that yeah. kind of thing oh my god do, do we breathe. all Jeez. have our own three bedroom little condo things? no 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 we're we gonna i think we're together. gonna be in like a 3500 square foot place uh, is it enough room for you do you mind i think it might work okay, it's a little good. it's a little small man i don't know as long as i'm not sharing a bathroom with either of you two <laughs> nobody has to share bathrooms <laughs> okay good. that's amazing i mean yeah. this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity it really is i can't I, it's gonna be great no. i can't i can't wait to do that if Let anybody if anybody thinks for one second that we take this for granted i can tell you we all feel extremely lucky that we get to go to Kauai to shoot and work and bring you guys some awesome content. So. We hope it'll be awesome content. And, oh, Kickshaws. Uh, Kickshaws. Can you look up Kickshaws? K-I-C-K-S-A-W-S. Kickshaws is a food truck in Kauai. They're going to come cook with us one day. Kickshaws or Kickshaws? Kickshaws. K-I-C-K-S-H-A-W-S. Food okay. truck Kauai. Kickshaws. I yeah, don't think I don't think they have a huge website. No, we got it. They have, a, they have a Facebook that we're going. Oh, they around. do. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. That that I know. Boy, you know what I can't believe? How fast my hair is just flying off my head. It is, man. You need a haircut, dude. No, I don't mean I need a haircut. I mean <laughs> oh, I need mean more hair flying off your hair, flying off my head. I thought you. Meant I'm not. I'm not like molting, <laughs> like a duck or shedding like my <laughs> dog. I mean. I wish I had more hair. Shedding like that dog. But you know what? I looked like a, I looked at a picture of me the other day, and I, I've always had like a high forehead. You're right. But not quite this I mean, I'm, I'm going to try okay to find a vintage Sam picture. Oh, you look good, man. Come on. No, it bothers me. Let me see. Do you have cook shot, the Kickshaw's uh, Facebook? Oh, my gosh. Yes, we do. We're going to pop back sorry, on that. Sorry, you're side. not fast enough. Whatever. I have like... A, Meanwhile, I've been invited to participate in a... Uh, a, the in an article for the Costco magazine. Really? Yeah. Wait, what? It the, goes to like nice twenty five million people. Hey, some people are some big names are in that magazine. There are. I didn't know there was a Costco magazine. There, are you a member? I, I am a member of Costco. Yes, through you. Oh, that's why you don't get the magazine. We get it. Oh, boom! Anyway, there you go. Kickshaws Kawhi. Kickshaws Kawhi. We'll be hanging out with them. They're going to make it a very cool nice. burger and something and neat. Uh, their own. Sp- version of spam thing is be great Sweet. i can't wait you know something cool i um one of my friends was just in Kauai a yeah. couple of weeks ago with his family and his girlfriend and i called him and i was just asking him some things about his trip um asked him what exactly how's the weed? what resort they were at how's the weed? didn't ask okay good i don't think i need to no I'm just, it's um, Kauai. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i asked him what resort they were at and he tells me and i just go to google it to see exactly where it was it's like five minutes down the street from where ours was. Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah, like connected to the same main beach. It's nice. Amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. Uh, wait a second. What were we just talking about? We're talking mm-hmm. about kickshaws for a little bit. And then we're talking after about, that? Uh, no. No. Oh, Costco. Yes. Costco. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's like a magazine that goes to like 20 million, 23 million people. Oh, 
Holy a lot yeah. of people get it's this. It's a nice Kakamai. publication, and it's it's really good in general. Yeah, and so uh, I'm I'm supposed to write. Um, she asked me to write about healthy eating, some tips for healthy eating, which nice. I can do. Mm-hmm. Yes, and give her a little bio. I'm all excited about this. Mm. And I write back and go, so but how many words should it be? Because you know you have to. I could do this. I could do this. Whatever. And she writes back a hundred words. You know what that is? That's like this. I know. That's like a tweet. Okay. <laughs> I just thought a hundred words in my head in the middle of this. Sen- I mean, it's not very. It's right. Hmm. Well, no, not 140 characters, but it's not very much. I'm gonna have to really like g- 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 pare myself down because I'm very wordy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I know I am. By the way, can I have two words for everybody here? Yeah. Downton Abbey. Oh uh, yeah, we're down with Downton. So good. Well, apparently. Mrs. Lin Chi, Stacy, is not <laughs> down with Downton Abbey. No, she is down with it. She doesn't she have time ahead. for it, apparently. She She's so read. busy in her life. Dude, first She doesn't of all. have time for it. She just wants to read the episodes, the episode recaps on Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Are you effing kidding me? One, that was supposed to stay between us. Okay, well, that's uh, now out there. <laughs> and two... But I, I don't care. We, I don't like want her show. doing that. What? We like the show. It's not, No, she doesn't like, like the show if she wants to just read it. I said this. There's the story, yeah. right? Which you can get from reading. There's the characters. There's the accents. There's the emotions. Can't yes, get that from yes, reading. Mm-hmm. I agree. There's, I totally agree. there's the scenery. There's the cinematography. The acting. There's the acting. The, you don't, Mr. Branson going, oh, Mrs. Hughes, the this is not what we should do at Downton Abbey. You can't get that from her reading that. The hot it's the Ralph worst commercial. idea I've ever heard in my life. Lynn, I don't want to let her do that. <laughs> then we will, I will not let her do that. Please. I, I say we thank will you. Take I, our my work is done. And we will watch it. My work is, my work is done. I'm fine. All right, I'm good. Fine. Wait, just, now that my work, what? I don't think, sorry, I just wanted to show you that. I don't think this is something you know, but. For most of the big kind of things that have like cult followings, like Downton or Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. they now have Wikipedia is do- solely dedicated to that. Like this is the Downton app. Yeah, I know Stacey that's no, please. That's where Stacy wants but to go. But it's a great, when I don't it's want a great resource if you want to learn character backstories. The cool thing or about things that is, you might not have understood that happened. Yeah, I get you. There's a lot of characters in Downton too. It's kind of you want to keep up, you know. Mm-hmm. I understand you want to defend your wife. It's a natural thing. You're supposed to do that, but please don't let her do that. Yeah. Okay, I won't. I won't. There's way too much going on I, I that not. you need to see visually. Yeah. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta cook. <laughs> we gotta do our. I'm thing. ready to cook. Nice. Uh, should we do a spot before we do? What's today? Friday. Well, let me say this. Fixtures living. Mm-hmm. What's fixtures? Is living? dead. <laughs> oh yeah, what? They're now called Perch. Yeah, they are. P I R C H. The Perch dot com. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, everything amazing. Everything I have in my kitchen, Perch sells. And check this out. Somebody sitting very close to you right now, Max, is going to be doing a lot of cool stuff at his new house. Busy now. Because of Perch. Oh yeah. He's been shopping. He's been doing things. He's been looking. Nobody has ever. I feel comfortable saying nobody has ever built what essentially is an appliance store the way they have. And if you're new to the show and you're watching me for the first time, you're going to think, oh, the guy's just saying that shit because they're a sponsor. And I'm saying this because it's absolutely true. And if you walked into any Perch location, San Diego, Rancho Mirage, Costa Mesa, Glendale, California, soon to be Chicago, Dallas, and Atlanta, dang, you would be blown away out of your mind your shoes would leave your feet your hair would leave your head like the hair is leaving my head <laughs> check them out online theperch.com check them out on the facebook they are fantastic and love them like we love them oh yeah all right i'm ready to cook let's go boys <laughs> The days of expensive, time-consuming website creation people are over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that is? That's a Squarespace. That's where you need to go. Squarespace.com. They will make your websites not just 
beautiful, but in a ridiculously financially affordable way. Does that even make sense, financially affordable? I think it does. Check them out, squarespace.com. You don't believe me? They're doing my website. Where do you see it? We blow your mind. Blow your mind. And this is cool. If you put my name, Sam, in the promo box at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. You got to like that. You following me? Okay, here's what we're making. We're making a uh, white clam pizza. Ah, Whoa. let me take that back. White clam flatbread. Ooh, nice. So in the interest of trying to eat just slightly better, we don't need a whole lot of crust. So we're gonna use one of these little flatbreads. Look how thin that is. That's a, that's a thin flatbread. It's a thin flatbread, right? But I wanna give it just a little bit of texture first. So I'm just gonna throw it on here. Just a tiny bit of crispness before this goes on. And I know someone's going to ask this, but what's the difference between that and a tortilla? Not a whole lot. You could use a tortilla. Pretty much the shape really is what it is. Okay. So this. Oh, don't do it. Don't spray. Don't spray. Don't spray. Don't spray. Don't spray. It's basically impossible to not. I know. Those things? Yeah. I hate those things. Do you have one of those side opening can opener things? Uh, it's well side is a bit of a misnomer Lynn. Oh, yeah, they don't leave uh, anything sharp They just take the whole sort of top off. Uh -huh. They're kind of a pain in the ass Okay, but so here's what we're doing Getting that thing just a little bit of Christmas. This is progresso White clam sauce right down here right down here right down here right there you go. There you go. Oops There you go Somebody suggested I buy that. An Italian barber suggested I buy that. And I was like, Ugh, really? I mean, I don't know. Is the thing going to be any good? And he was like, oh, yes. You'll be very surprised at how good this stuff is. It's outstanding. You want to put it with pasta? Outstanding. So today's an experiment. I actually like that brand a lot, that, that white sauce thing. Really good. Okay, but here's what we're going to do with this. What I want is... The clams, mostly, not too much of the sauce. There's already garlic in it. The beautiful part of this is that it's got all, all that stuff already in it. I'm going to add just a little bit of richness by doing this, a little bit of sour cream on the bottom. Uh, perhaps a little untraditional, but wait to see how good this thing is going to be. Okay, this is it, right? You don't need anything more than this. A tiny bit more here. I know it's when I said I don't need anything more than this. I just meant, I didn't mean not more of this. I just meant nothing more than this. Was that confusing to yes. anybody but me? Because yeah, I'm, I'm scratching my own head about what the hell I just said. So. Huh. This is a very interesting use of this. Like you should enter a Progresso recipe contest or something. Oh my God, I should do that, shouldn't I? See, I don't want all this liquid. The liquid's like gonna harm this. So, because I haven't actually thunk this whole thing through. Watch this move. Isn't the liquid like one of the best parts of that thing? Yeah, if you want it in a, uh, and I still have a little bit left, if you want it in a, um, in a sauce, right? Right. But for this, you know, it's like you're just pouring water on this thing, Lynn. Do you know what that's going to do? Yeah, it's going to make a soggy flatbread. It's going to make a terrible flatbread, right? Yeah. And so here's, here's your goal. Ooh, that's going to be good. Oh, my God. It smells so good. And you know what? I was all ready to do um, garlic on it, but it has garlic in it. More garlic. I don't know if you need more garlic, man. You want more garlic? I think we should do more garlic. Okay, Lynn. I'll do more garlic for you. Nice. You're welcome. Well, technically, you didn't actually say thank you, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I can turn that off. Well, uh, my oven's on to like four and a quarter. By the way, I just sharpened my knives the other day. I'm super happy about it. Do you have a guide you go, go to or something? Uh, I do, but I just got a little pull through thing that I'm really happy with. Oh, nice. Yeah. So bust that, take out the insides, get rid of this, 
and get rid of the butt. And the butt to me, see this? That little wood end? I call that the butt. And there's a butt on each one of them. See that? That's the butt. I mean, I'm sure it's got a proper name. <laughs> I don't think butt is really what it's called. Well, I'm telling you, boy, sharp knives are a dream. Oh, yeah. Dull knives suck balls. Oh, that's a terrible expression. I'm sorry I said that. I didn't mean to say that. That was real. That was nasty. Oh, God. God. Can we just... Please, can we go back and get rid of that? I, I, I did not mean to say that. That was really funny. I did not mean to say that. That sounds like a t-shirt. Oh, my God. You said it, like, angrily, too. That was the way it Well, was. I know, but... but but un unsharp knives are like the worst thing ever. Yeah, like you go cut a tomato and it just flattens it. It just goes yeah. and squeezes out all the liquid and everything like that. Okay, so watch, just garlic here. Just top over nicely, over the top. Nice, nice. Okay, everybody good? Good. All right, and now what's the last thing that this should have? Cheese. Little cheese. Monterey Jack. A little mozzarella. Oh, dang. What do you want? I was just saying if that was Monterey Jack. Look, at, not, but we don't need a lot, right? Because it's a thin little thing. If you go putting big fat layers on this, it's going to be unnecessary. So that's all we're going to do, right? This guy by itself, straighten them out in the center. Oh my God. The smell from here, that's going to take maybe, I don't know. Uh, 10 minutes? I don't know because I've not made this before. I'm going to guess 10 minutes. We're going to come back. It's going to come out. We're going to take bites of it. And boy, boy, are we going to be happy. See you in a second. Look, there's little simple things that you can do in your food world to make things way better. Ready for a tip? Here's one of them. We Olive. Weolive.com will get you to a place where you can get only California certified extra virgin olive oils. You know, the whole olive oil world, especially the extra virgin stuff, it's very sketchy. You can be buying things that are mixes of all kinds of stuff. California certified extra virgin olive oil, only at We Olive. It's amazing. You can go online, weolive.com, check out other stuff. If you put Sam in at the little checkout box, you'll get 10% off your order. Or even better, go to a store, have them turn you on to what great olive oil tastes like. You'll be so glad you did it. Weolive.com, tell them I sent you. Okay, well, that'd actually be meaningless, but put my name in the box and you'll get 10% off. It's all good. Weolive.com, check them out. And here we are. Yes, it smells good. Oh, it's, no, it smells amazing. Look. It's flat. Yeah. These, these little flatbreads, and I don't have, look, if I had parsley or something, I would put it on. I'm not doing this because of, because of my unhealthy obsession with, green with, onions. with green onions. I mean, I know it looks like it is. And you know what? Now, here's the, here's the problem I have. I want to add one thing. I want to add a little pepper to it. Uh, the problem I'm having right now is that in my head, I have Lynn going, oh, cut it on an angle, do this, do that. I've got like some Whatever weird time. ass. Just cut it however you want Shit, to, man. Shit, man. No, I can't. I gotta have you effing with my head. You cut it however you want, man. I'm just gonna have this. You can do the rest, whatever you want. Look it, that's what you want, right? It's thin, Ooh. but it's still crispy. And this bite right here. No, oh, holy shit. Okay, wait. I don't always make flatbread, but when I do, I use Progresso white clam sauce. We're not even sponsored by them. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Max, you gotta have a bite of this. Let me just fold this for you. 
is going to be disastrous. This is, this is going to be very, it, uh, it's, there's no good is going to come of this. <laughs> wow. You like clams? I didn't even think about wow. that because I know you have like a, you have wow. a little bit of a seafood thing. Mm. Is that amazing? Epic. Okay. Sour cream. This. Garlic. Mm. Cheese. Pepper. That's it. You got to make it. Next week, I wanted to tell you what next week would be, but I can't say for sure because I don't know. So, yeah, you'll find out when you find out. We'll, we'll talk about it online, the Facebook and the Twitter. Yeah. In the meantime, don't eat bad food. Tell your friends about us, and thank you for hanging out with us. It really makes sense. And by the way, you 20,000 Roku people, we got something special coming for you. Yes, just for you. Hang out with us. Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend. See ya.